Uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us for what has been a great show thus far. And if you're interested in sprucing up your bathroom, it's about to get a whole lot better. Simone Borsheding joins us. Very welcome to our studio. Well, you've transformed it in the matter of literally just seconds. We are talking about bathrooms today. Um, now, not only are you a decor stylist, but you're a space maker, which is very key to what we're going to be talking about today. And often those bathrooms, you need to rejuvenate from time to time, and there are some ingenious ways of doing that. So let's look at accessories first. Without breaking the bank, how can we add a little extra glitter, a little extra sparkle to our bathroom? Well, I think it's important to choose items that are timeless. So when you're purchasing an item, you don't want it to be too trendy so that you tire of it after a while. So choose ah. items that really ring true to you. Um, and then also something a little bit unconventional. Like, for example, here I've used, an, used a hand vase. I love it. I don't know if you can see that there. <laughs> that awesome, um, yeah. To hold toothbrushes. And then also containers that are actually for the kitchen to hold earbuds and cotton wool. Um, very, very classy. I was yeah. about to say, I asked for an inexpensive solution. This looks like a very expensive bottle of hand lotion. And it was, once <laughs> upon a time. But I've since refilled it with just packets of refillable oh, um, hand soap. So it looks pretty cool without the expensive price tag. Yeah. Love a little bit of element of nature as well. You want to feel like, because it's often such a confined small space, you want to be able to expand it a little bit, and nature is a great way of doing that. Yeah. So I've referenced the, the yellow in those flowers and beautiful towels here with these stripes and um it's nice to just bring in a bit of zing with color. Mm, I yeah. love it. And I like the fact that you've got some classical elements, something a bit rustic as well. Yeah. Now, obviously, the one element in our bathroom that we don't want to be the, the scene stealer is the, bar, the toilet itself. How do we go about kind of working that into the background? So, yeah, you can't necessarily disguise it, but you can make <laughs> it look nicer. So yeah. one of the things I do, and this is actually from my house, is a beautiful basket to stash all your toilet rolls. And then Pedersen and Leonard has brought out a great range Ooh, of nice. um, toilet roll holders. And so, so consider your hardware. Choose really nice hardware. And then put a picture above your toilet. I love it, man. And of course, a scented candle goes yeah, a very, exactly. very long way. Well, um, we've had some, some great questions come through from our, our Facebook page and from our viewers. Um, and we wanted to, to kind of put them to you to see if you could come up with some ingenious solutions. So I'm going to get our first here, which is no, uh, Naomi Duplessis. And thank you, Naomi, for, for writing into us. Um, she's got quite a complex issue here. I had my bathroom repainted about four months ago, but the paint on my ceiling and walls seems to be flaking off again. I've also got a bit of an issue with that. We don't have a window in our bathroom, only an extractor fan like me as well. I'm so over showering with the door open. Is there any solution out there? What would you suggest? Well, it's a problem because once this paint starts peeling, more moisture can get inside and just exacerbate the problem. Yeah. So first things first, maybe her extractor fan isn't appropriate for the size of the room. So she needs to check that and maybe get a larger one. Uh, the other alternative is to get a dehumidifier. De yeah. yes. And you often see them in hotels and that sort of thing as well. Yeah. Exactly, and just leave it running after she showers. And also make sure she chooses paint. She'll probably have to redo it. Chooses the right primer and a bathroom paint um, and to do the job. Summer is here. You can start taking cool showers exactly. at that. <laughs> then Johanna Ackerman also sent through a great one. I love my bathroom, but it just feels too small. How do I make the space look bigger and prevent Clutter comes, space maker. Yeah, that's a massive problem. I yeah. mean, there's, you know, we need to stash a lot of stuff in there, but how do we, you know, make it look nice? So storage solutions are key. Mm. And, um, you know, just bringing in storage baskets, maybe a nice uh, little towel rail. Yeah, not too over the top. Um, but he's got a declutter. That's a big thing. And um, he also can maybe introduce some lightness by creating painting the walls and the ceiling the same color. That really helps the space, yeah. Yeah, you want, you want a space, even if it is often the, the forgotten room, even in the design and the architecture of a house, often the bathrooms are the smallest or they're there to accommodate the other rooms, space in the house. You can still make it a very free and a natural and beautiful place. I love the fact that you've included so many natural um, fabrics on, and natural textiles and things like that as well. Yeah. Um, now, I, I spoke about nature and I'm going to ask you finally, I mean, that is a beautiful addition. I'm thinking I might actually steal that for myself. Um, but there is something very relaxed about nature, especially if you're you know, in a bath or something like that. Totally. You want to have those natural things. Yeah. And bringing in plants into the bathroom that like humidity and low light is great. So an orchid ah. is a good solution. They love a bathroom. Also a delicious monster. But they tend to take up counter space. So what I've done, and again, another item from my bathroom, is a hanging basket oh, with an umbrella plant in it. 
and air plants also like um, bathrooms. And you get that that extra dose of oxygen when you're yeah, sitting in the bath. Totally. Thank you, Simone. Thank you so Thanks. much. Um, some brilliant ideas.